Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Taurus uh, for the first half of April from the 1st to the 15th. Um, so we're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then we'll take a look at what the possible outcome and advice are. So this could be anything. This could be in love, um, relationships, friendships, um, family, career, finances, uh, spiritual development, uh, personal development. So we'll just see um, what the cards have to say. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys can get the latest up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, please give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message could circulate around to the people that need to hear this. And um, if this message resonated with you, please uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. So yes, that's it. Uh, so let's get started here. All right, over energies for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect? What's surrounding Taurus for the first half of April? From the 1st to the 15th. For energies for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What is surrounding Taurus? What can Taurus expect for the first half of April? From the 1st to the 15th. You have the King of Cups, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. A lot of water here. Oh. You have the Nine of Pentacles. cups on the bottom of the deck here. I don't know if someone's feelings for someone here has changed. Um, two of cups, temperance, the death card, ace of cups. The only reason why I say that because you have the chariot card here. I feel like someone's trying to get away or move on from something or someone is just ready to be single again. You have the four of wands here, so, and then the 10 of wands right next to it. So I do, I'm just feeling like someone here is feeling like a connection is becoming a burden. Let's see here. of cups. Tell me about this King of Cups here.
right? You have the tower, Cancer, non-Cancer, Aries, Scorpio energy. So someone's having a tower moment here. So Taurus, this could be you here. You might have some water in your chart. What's going on with this chariot? You got the nine of swords. It's like you're trying to get away from the stressful situation that you're in. I feel like you're trying to get back, gain back some sort of control here by getting away. What's going on with this high priestess? Got the eight of wands. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. You got the world. Capricorn energy, any of the fixed signs. What's going on with the four of wands? Page of pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me about the ten of wands. The two of pentacles. Five of swords on the bottom of the deck. So it could be that you're might be you might be in a connection that's has a lot of drama and I just feel like you're trying to get away from it. You want nothing to do with it. Yeah, someone wants a new beginning here. Someone's trying to seek some sort of balance here for themselves. Um Yeah, I just feel like a cycle's coming to an end here for you, Taurus. I feel like you're trying to end something. I feel like you're trying to be... It seems like you're trying to get away from a relationship here. It might be an immature relationship. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's immature. Maybe someone might be juggling you. Or maybe someone's creating insecurities here. But I just feel like you're trying to get away. We got the King of Cups being clarified by the Tower, the uh, Chariot being clarified by the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like you're trusting your intuition. I feel like you're trying to get away. Uh, uh, High Priestess, Eight of Wands. Um, yeah, I feel like you're trying to communicate to Spirit or something like that to get some sort of guidance. And I feel like you're trusting what spirit is telling you. And I feel like you just want to be in the singles mode here and just end things. And um, yeah, I just feel like there's this energy of just maybe you're dealing with someone who's immature. Um, or that someone might be juggling you or someone that might be creating insecurities in this connection. Let's see. We'll take a look at your person here, uh, Taurus. Tell me about the per, uh, person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their current overall energies right now towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about this person? What are their true feelings and intentions towards uh, Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about their person for the first half of April from the 1st to the 15th? Seven of Cups, I think this wanted to come out too. You have the King of Cups again. Um, so, so I feel like this is you again, Taurus. All right, you have the King of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Okay, so we do have a feminine energy here too. So we have the Nine of Swords, Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck.
I ju I'm just feeling like there's a, it, it's a very unhealthy connection because both of these are in conflict right now. You have the Five of Swords here two times. Um, so Taurus, I'm feeling like, like your person feels like you confuse them. Both of you are stressed out. I feel like when you guys communicate, both of you guys are not hearing each other. Like, both of you guys are not listening. Alright, what's going on with the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Cups in the Death card, Scorpio Energy. What's going on with this King of Cups? You got the Five of Cups. What's going on with this King of Wands? You got the Eight of Swords. What's going on with the Five of Swords? You got the Eight of Wands again. Uh, tell me about this Queen of Wands. What's this Queen of Wands doing here? Emperor. And what's going on with this Nine of Swords? And the world. Both of you have the world card. Both of you want to have new beginnings here for yourselves. I'm feeling like, Taurus, your person feels like they are being controlled here. Yeah, I feel like both of you feel stressed out. I'm feeling that one person is expecting one person to be a certain way. And I feel like it's this masculine energy towards this feminine energy. It's sort of, I'm getting the energy of it's my way or the highway the sort of thing. Like I said, I feel like you guys are in conflict, but you guys are not listening to each other. I mean, you both have the Eight of Wands. If anything, you guys are speaking to each other, but it's just going in one ear and then out the other ear. Both of you want the cycle to end. Um, both, both of you don't want to be together anymore, from what I could see here. Someone here could have been making empty promises, perhaps. Maybe empty promises that, you know, someone's going to change or something like that, or someone is expecting someone to change, but someone's not changing. All right, you have the Seven of Cups, the Death card, the King of Cups, Five of Cups. You have the King of Wands, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Eight of Wands. There could be some mind games going on here. You have the Queen of Wands with the Emperor, the Eight of the Nine of Swords with the World. Both of you just wants both of you just want this to be over with. Um, just the games here, maybe the mind games. <sighs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Possible outcome and advice here for Taurus regarding their situation for the first half of April from the first to fifteenth. What does Taurus need to know? What can Taurus expect regarding their situation here? Outcome and advice for Taurus. Three of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles, 
You got the Queen of Swords in reverse. You have the High Priestess. And the Three of Cups. Okay. Strength card on the bottom of the deck. Leo Energy. I'm just feeling that this is over. This could have been an ongoing cycle here. I, I just feel like you guys are sick of each other. Whatever is going on, you guys might be coming to a realization that perhaps this is not going anywhere. What's going on with this world? Karma. Alright, you have the page of wands with the world. Three of wands and the two of swords. What's going on with the two of pentacles? Two of pentacles and the eight of swords. Queen of Swords with Queen of Swords reverse with the Temperance card. What's going on with this High Priestess? So this one came out first. The Death card, Scorpio Energy, and then the Queen of Pentacles with three cups. All right. High Priestess here, bottom of the deck, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles again. I just feel like you guys are getting bored of the, getting bored with each other, or that you guys are getting bored of the situation. Yeah, I just feel as though. Someone might be a bit withdrawn here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like someone might be, be someone might be, someone might be being a, okay. There's a lot of bees in the sentence that I'm trying to articulate. Um, someone's being bitchy with the Queen of Swords in reverse here towards someone. Um, could be emotionally withdrawn to you. Um, could be traumatized from this whole situation too, because there's like a lot of mind fuck going, like mind fucking going on uh, here. I feel because you had the five of swords here two times. One person, one person in particular, I feel like they don't know what to do. But I feel like someone, I just feel like both of you are ready to move on from this. I feel, just feel like you both are done with the games. I just feel like both of you want, want to be single again. I feel like you guys want to meet new people. Um, I just feel like you guys intuitively know that this is gonna, this is over. This is just not working. Um, you have the Page of Wands being clar uh, clarifying the world, two, uh, Three of Wands being clarified by the Two of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like someone no longer wants to be stuck in one place, waiting for a situation to change here. Both of you could feel that way. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords in reverse, uh, Temperance. And then you have the um, High Priestess uh, being clarified by the Death card, uh, the Three of Cups being clarified by the Queen of uh, Pentacles. So Taurus, this was your general reading energy check-in for the uh, first half of your April from the 1st to the 15th. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.